Hello, my YouTube friends. If you're a Google Meet user and you want a more dynamic broadcast for your viewers, I have the perfect solution for you today. I'll show you how to use OBS video and audio for your Google Meetings to really take it to another level. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Educators and businesses are using Google Meet to teach classes, schedule meetings, and webinars more and more these days. It makes perfect sense to want to have the utility of OBS Studio to be able to add elements to your broadcast, like multiple cameras, lower thirds, media sources, and of course, sharing screen applications. And it's really easy to do. So let's jump into the computer and set this up. On this website here, you're just going to click go to download and it's going to bring you to this page here and you just scroll down and we're going to select the Mac OS package right here. 4.9.0, but it might be updated when you watch this. So just get the most updated one that you can. Once we download it, we're going to double click it down here in the bottom left. Click continue, then install. It's gonna ask you for your credentials. You just slap those in there and click install software and then close and move to trash. And now our NDI is installed. Next, we want to install the NewTek NDI plugin. This is going to give us the ability to take that NDI signal and feed it into Microsoft Teams. So here on the NewTek website, we're going to go to NDI, and we're gonna select NDI tools, and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna click download for our Mac version. Then you just have to fill this form out right here and submit. Once you submit, it brings up this box here. You want to download both of these tools. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Envato Placeit, but when you see what you can do with it, you'll totally understand why I was so excited to work with them. With Envato Placeit, I can browse hundreds of different overlay templates for my live stream, and every single one is completely editable. There is a link in the description to Placeit if you want to check it out. And by using those links, you're actually going to get a discount as well. And you're not going to believe how many more things that I didn't even show you that you can use on YouTube or there. Definitely check it out. The link is in the description. Here we are in OBS and I've set up two scenes. They're just simple. One's just a scene of me. Another has a video in the background that plays. The first thing we want to do to set this up is go up to tools. Then we're going to select NDI output settings. Then we're going to click on main output and your main output name can be anything you want. I set mine to OBS. Now I'm going to go into applications and I'm gonna start my NDI virtual input app. Now up at the top, I wanna to drop down NDI and I can go over here into sources and make sure that OBS is selected as well. Now we're gonna flip over to our browser and we're gonna go into Google Meet. We're gonna dismiss this and we're gonna turn on our microphone and stuff. And you can see here that the overlay they put in here is for the OBS virtual cam, but basically this is telling you that you're going to see a mirrored image. Now I'm gonna click the little three dots in the lower right hand corner of the display window and I'm gonna click on settings. And for microphone, I'm gonna drop this down and I'm gonna select the NDI audio. And if I talk, you can see it moves. You wanna make sure your speakers are your internal speakers or your headphones, whatever you're planning to wear or use for your live stream. Then I'm gonna go into video and I'm gonna drop down camera and select my NDI video camera. And I wanna change the resolution. The highest you can get is 720. So I'm gonna set that right here. And then I'm gonna just exit out of here. And there we go. Now let's split these screens so we can see both our OBS and our Google Meet. And we'll shrink these down a little bit. There we go. So on the right, we have our OBS and on the left, we have Google Meet. I'm just gonna click join now and it's gonna bring up a link that I can share for people to join my stream if I want. And if I exit out of that, now I can go over into OBS and switch scenes. You can see that there is almost no latency here whatsoever, but you will notice that your Google Meet is mirrored. This is not the way your audience is going to see it. They will see exactly what's in the OBS 
OBS window, but you should be aware that it's very difficult to work with anything in a mirrored screen, so make sure you do all your work in OBS. It's really disconcerting, the mirrored screen, but there's nothing you can do about it. There is no way to unmirror it. You can see, even on my Mac, there is almost no latency whatsoever from one scene to another. I have done a very similar process with Zoom and with Microsoft Teams, and I have to say that Google Meet is by far the easiest to use. I didn't have any latency, no choppiness, no problems whatsoever setting this up. It actually looks like even on my older Mac, this would work really well. What's your favorite conferencing app? Zoom, Teams, Google Meet? Let me know in the comments. And if you're struggling with lagging video or audio issues for your live streams, one of these videos is gonna help you work through the most common issues. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.